Well, I'll give this a shot. I have no idea if it's going to work. Um, yeah, I'll try to take you on part of my bike ride. I just uh, got up, just got out of Sandy. Well, I guess I'm still part, uh, still in Sandy Hill. Hold on, I just got to get my gloves. It's really mild out today, though. But still. Hold on. I hope I'm dropping. I'm gonna drop the freaking phone. I wonder if I should. Uh, hmm. Hold on. All right. See if this works. I have no idea. Not very easy. For me. Um. I'll give it a shot. So, anyways, this is the uh, University of Ottawa uh, campus. It's a weird campus in the sense that. Um, uh, well, you, you can get killed, I guess, crossing traffic, because it's right in the middle of downtown, really close to apartment buildings, you know. Um, yeah, I didn't go here, my friend Dave did, uh, at the same time, I went to Carleton University, which is, uh, well, a bit of a not too far away from here but that's a true campus like it's isolated from you know like you have to actually walk a bit or get on the whatever hold on and that's one of the LRT stations for uh U of O hold on I think it's called campus station should be using the front bridge like this not good Chris because you can walk up. And this is where my obviously my control is. Hold on. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I should switch hands. Problem is I'm uh, basically left-handed. Holy cow, I'm not used to seeing people. What the hell? Pause just so I don't freak the person out. Hold on. All right. Back up. So you know, the over here. It's this beautiful multi-use, non-motorized pathway is freaking awesome. Oh. Oh. Sorry, it's weird to only use one hand to kind of control. There you go. You know? nice. And I get, I love, I get reminiscences. This bridge, well, obviously I have to get to work this way, but I also use it to um, get the can games. Not now. This is getting towards work, but uh, um, to get the can games. Anyways, oh, and a side note. Yeah, um, I was sticking about the rail network. It's going to be so much flipping fun, man. Uh, just to design, like to figure out, you know, where I'm going to have to put uh, certain divisions on single tracks and so on and so forth. And then, um, you know, they'll have to wait a turn and then go ahead. And Oh, my gosh. Just, uh, I was thinking, I wish I had some of uh, Charles Latour's uh, spreadsheet sorcery. That's from what... Uh, I've seen anyways, he's a spreadsheet spreadsheet sorcerer. And uh, gosh, I'm gonna need that for timetables and schedules and all that stuff. That's for bloody sure. Here's the army barracks or something. I would love to know what this little vehicle is over there. Just that tiny one over there, if you can see it. That thing. I don't know what the hell it is. I can't go to it right now. Maybe I should go to it uh, during lunch break or something. Somebody can tell me what the hell that is. Uh, anyways, here we go. So here's City Hall and uh, municipal courts and whatnot. Um, and this street is Laurier Avenue, well, east and west kind of thing. Um, and we're actually going to go by Fandom too. It's not its original location. But, uh, and I'm not going to stop because I don't want to get, like, the police called in at this time, you know, casing out a store or something. Um, 
but we'll see it. It's not the original location. Its original location was, but it's the very first store that I know of that did Hex Encounter, RPG stuff in Ottawa. Just amazing. Um, it was originally on Rideau Street, upstairs from a French restaurant called La Grenouille. And uh, that's where I lost my marbles. A friend called Mike Johnson from grade 7 brought me there on a Saturday. And my very first game was GEV I picked up because I had hardly any money. It was $3 Canadian. And uh, went to his house, cut up the counters in the... Uh, in the uh, in his garage, what his dad doing? Lord knows what. I probably mowing the lawn or something. And uh, I was just off in space, absolutely off in space. I just couldn't wait to go home. And I was already starting to form my own little narrative. I was, you know, already RPGing things in my head. You know what I mean? That's just the way I do things with games. I can't. Uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. Um, yeah, Fandom 2, that was a... And anyways, then it moved to Laurier Avenue East, right near uh, uh, right near Nelson, uh, the Nelson Theater. Uh, freaking awesome for me. Uh, it was... Uh, God, did I spend hours there, man, just listening to the uh, the owners who, and the people that they were talking to, the regulars who knew, like, you know, things I didn't even understand what they were talking about, just about games and... The, I just listen in while staring at the figures all that time there were these painted figures in the showcase I had no idea they were for sale I think Rob told me later I was like what oh my god all that time I could have bought one but anyways I used to gawk and stare at them just yeah it was like uh, people who wanted to uh, get rid of their old minis I had no idea but uh, I just never asked so here's the public library which is about to move over here and uh, I don't know where the hell it's going. Probably the Breton Flats, maybe. I have no idea. Maybe that would be close to where the War Museum is. Um, yeah. Oh my god, we went right by Fandom 2 and I'm yapping about it. It was on the left hand side. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, you see why now I like to come in super early? Because my personality can't deal with four trillion people around me. And which is odd, because I absolutely love London, England. But it's a different sort of story. Um, also, I wasn't like living there, living there kind of thing. If, I don't know if it's hard to explain. Uh, whatever. It's another story. Um, yeah. This is a nice little spot. But uh, it's been, you know, because of the pandemic, and we're a very government-centric centric city. The downtown core is just taking a beating. Oh, God, oh, my hands cold. Oh, my God, I can't wait to get home. Uh, well, home, well, for sure. But uh, work is just around the corner, or just up the street, actually. This is where Hot Diggity Dog used to be. Uh, I don't know if it's because he had a mild heart attack afterwards. Yes, I know. He sold hot dogs. They were the best flipping hot dogs you could get. I always used to go to can games. Uh, uh, or go there before can games. I was on uh, when I would take Zoe on the bus. Now I just bike in so I don't go there. But um, uh, that was wonderful. And so I can remember going, she'd be like, a hot dog at like 8 in the morning. And like, what's the difference between that and a sausage on your breakfast plate, man? So uh, enjoy it. It's all, you know, crazy food. And I also miss going, I uh, was the way to the used bookstore on Saturday mornings downtown on Regal Street. Four stories, man. And we used to go to the Chicken Shawarma place. That was freaking awesome. Super freaking awesome. And, that, and here we are, guys. I'm going to hit pause so I don't uh, pause any grief with work or any of that nonsense. Yep, there we are. There we are, Billy. Ever been to the back of the bil building, Billy? <laughs> uh -oh. oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, anyways, I hope you're having a great time. See ya.